Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. What's up? What's up? How you doing? Awesome. So, so this is our first time on this app. What do you think so far? I mean, how you like the layout of this thing? You know what? The layout's a little scary, but yeah. um, I'm liking the shows, the other shows that I'm hearing on it. Yeah, I saw that you were kind of vibing on some of them other shows. I like the variety, I think. Really? Yeah. Okay. The variety of shows? Yeah. Like what's moving you right yeah. now? I, I like the spiritual stuff. Um, okay. I like the music stuff. Yeah, you look on the top left-hand corner, we can tell how many listeners. Can you see the same thing I'm seeing? Yeah. Okay, so we got, okay. I see zero. Yeah, all right, good, good. That's cool. Yeah. So what are you saying? So I know you I know you like the two, I don't know if they're sisters or what. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was I liking them. I was liking them, yeah, I was liking them. I was liking yeah. them. They look like they're, they, they actually, sound like they actually, point. Yeah, they were. they were. And you know what it was too? They seemed really calm. Like they didn't yes. seem like they were trying too hard. That's what I was kind of right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah. Like, like I've been around those people before, <laughs> but um. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, but um. So. So with this app here, so so the idea that I'm thinking to have with this thing right here is, I like the idea. Okay. So and it took me a minute to think, but it made a lot of sense. Yes. We can use this. We can we can use this to help promote where Freestyle Lives, our podcast. Mm -hmm. So this will be daily, and that will be weekly. I don't even yeah. think I don't even think we should. Um, <clears throat> I don't even think we should um, eliminate a day with this. I think I, I don't think we should do the weekends in case we're on the road. What do you think? I or think we should do the weekends if we're on the road. That might be kind of interesting. Yeah, I think we should do the weekends if we're on the road. Hmm. We, I mean, we're not going to do our podcast on the road. Okay. So I think we should do this if we're on the road. I mean, it might be interesting. I mean, we're not yeah, on the road that much right now with the with the, the pandemic, but, you know, when yeah. we are, huh. it might be cool. Not only that, remember, we drive the kids on the weekends. We drop the kids off on the weekends. Right. So we can do it then too if we want. Right, right. You know? Yeah, but remember also in the evenings I do good night freestyle. Nah, but that's like a that's a um late afternoon. That's like people driving home from work on what? Fridays when we but drop off the kid. So we could do it then while we're driving. I don't think that will work because what's gonna happen is we're gonna be in the same vehicle. It's oh, gonna, yeah. My yes, voice is gonna yes. come up on yours. So what happens yes. is the mouths, the mouths are gonna yes, be, yes. be moving. No, you're you right. Know? You're right. You're right. Yeah. So, so we're, when, when we're on the road, I could just go to the bar, and you can stay in the room. <laughs> that might work. That might work. I'll stay in. Or the you bed. can go down to get breakfast, and I can be in the room. Oh, okay. Okay. How you like my avatar? Does it look like me at all? Oh my God! Yes, it's crazy. It looks like a young, good-looking me, right? No, it looks like you. Uh, that was like the, you that was... cut... No, it looks like you when you cut your hair. Oh, you don't like my hair now? When you clean cut? No, I love your hair, but it looks very clean cut. Your hair. Huh. You know? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right? Yeah. Hmm. That's what so... I'm I love the glasses. I'm so loving the kango. Yeah. I don't know if that's an actual kango. I think it's a. Supposed to try to be a king, but I think it's more like the the bucket hats bucket that I hats, wear. The bucket hats, the bucket hats. That's yeah. what it looks like. Oh shoot! What you happened? Still there? I dropped the phone. Okay, all right. Yeah, we'll get you some headphones too. Yeah. Make it a little easier, you know. Yeah, for real. But so, so, but yeah, but this I'm I have ear pods. Yeah, but do they have? They don't have the microphone, right? No, they don't have the microphone. Yeah, I need the microphone on it, but um. 
But yeah. But yeah, so we could take this and use this during the week. But I, I really believe that we need to do it like at noon, from noon to one. Put the phones to the side, kind of ignore everything, you know, or put the, the phones on silent, you know? I was gonna say, put the phone, I can't put the phone to the side. The kids are in school. Yeah, that's true. Can't do that. Yeah, yeah. But, um, it's right. not gonna. So, um, so yeah, before we start introducing our community to this app, I mean, it's crazy because, um, we have a pretty big community and I really feel that, um, I really feel that, uh, we could grab a lot of people and really bring the people into this thing. I think it's totally different. It gives people a platform to come in and ask questions. And the thing is to try to keep it, you know, I don't what I don't want to be like. So I don't want it. I don't want it to be negative. I want to try to keep this thing as positive as possible. You know? Yeah. I want to, I want to build it. I'm, I'm just, I'm just listening to you because you sound really sexy on this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know what you just said, boy. I was just listening to it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> But, but listen, but this is the whole thing. This is the whole thing with this. This is what I want to do with this, with, with this uh, with this app, okay? I want to be able to introduce the Freestyle community, bring the community into this app. This will give us a bit more of a one-on-one -on -one, um, communication. We can vibe with these people. A lot, of, a lot of the fans, a lot of the people that are not fans have no idea what's going on within the Freestyle community. As far as they're concerned, that shit died years ago. It's alive and kicking. It's alive Blood and kicking. Places. You know, and, and the age is not a situation. Now I'm talking about, you know, we're we're doing some big events. Right, right. We're doing some pretty big events, you know? So I mean, we're, um, still doing, we're still doing clubs. Yeah, yeah. And and you know what's so funny now? Remember the club situation started to slow down a little bit right before the pandemic. Right. Right? But right. now it seems like I feel that as soon as the pandemic is over, those clubs are going to reopen, and we're, it's going to be almost like it's it's new again. I mean, they're absolutely going to reopen because we're already booked. Yeah, we're booked. But what I'm, what I'm trying to say, yeah, but we're doing. Remember, we're doing a big, we're doing concerts and we're doing drive-ins. Well, we do. We're already booked for a club in LA. Right, that's true. And we're already booked for. Isn't that a club in San Antonio, June 29th? Isn't one of them a club? Yeah, that, well, that's, that a, it's, that's a pre-party. It's in Wait, a club. June 29th. What, what's that June that's 29th? That's the gay, gay Pride in San Antonio. Wait, did they get, they didn't give us a new date, did they? We they, they no, that. but they're still doing it. They said they're still doing it. The end of June. Last weekend in June. Hmm. Okay. They do it the last weekend. No, nah, no, nah, that's an outdoor open, remember, it's a parade. They had three days, don't you remember? Right? It's One a of them is in a club. It's a pre-party. It's, it's in a the, club. The, the parade. Right. Going, yeah, the pre-party's in a club. Then right. there's a parade heading to a concert stage, outdoor stage. And then right. I believe there's a there's an after party. I, I know there's an after party, but what kind of party is it? Do you know? They're just trying to make some more money. <laughs> I think it's, yeah, it's just another... Well, it's they got to pay another, me. They got to pay me, so they got to make that money. Nah, yeah, well... No, I think what it is is that uh, you know they're gonna try to get what they can. You know, they they got yeah. their spot. Remember, they got sponsors too. Right. So a lot of the sponsors, a lot of times they say, okay, you know what? Let's bring the acts in. Can we can we bring the acts in for? We'll we'll give them dinner or whatever. Yeah, but you know what? Let's let's go back to that whole concert thing. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, it's still convenient enough for us to clubs, but we're doing big concerts too. Yeah. Well, the, the well. I mean, think about it. five about five years ago, the club situation started to die down, and it was only concerts. Think, mm -hmm. think about it; it was only concerts. Now it's, you know, now I think it's going to go back to clubs. I think there's enough. Of, remember, it got saturated. It got oversaturated. Right. You know, a lot of people were doing the same venues over and over and over. Right. And and it got to a, it got to a point where, you had some of the biggest acts that couldn't even you know pack in a 500 capacity venue. Which is ridiculous. Well, I mean, that I not... think, but I don't think it was the act. I think it might have been the marketing. It might have been, you know, the promoters. No, it was, it was definitely the marketing. But what people, you know, 
a lot of the promoters they have the, the the idea of they have the idea about of you know if we bring them in people will come and that's not the case right people uh, yeah, not exactly. realize exactly if we book it people will come no you got to promote yeah. got to market it right that's some marketing right. yeah but what happened was a lot of the promoters got lazy so this is some of, some of the things that you know I want to try to I've done it with the course where I try to get a lot of promoters to kind of kind of approach the situation differently. There's listen, there's a ton of money to be made. Absolutely. There's a ton of money to be made. The artists are young enough that they're looking good and they're still doing great shows. Listen, these artists could go we they got a good 20 years. Easy. They got they have what? A good 20 years. Easy. Okay. I think so. Right. 20 an average? Yeah. Actually coming in at 70 years old. He was the little thing on the bottom. It says one. What is that? Oh, that's a message. Let's listen to oh. it. <laughs> Let me play it. Let me play it. Hold okay. on. Let's see who this is. Hold on. Take me to Christ because I am bullshitting for a fact. When I rap, I know they listen. Pop told me I was gifted with words that could move children, save pilgrims, change men, and heal women, save lives, erase lies, and kill demons. Tension. Why? Because that's a lot of my shows. But mama never raised a punk. She recruited a soldier. Pop told me we at war and it's time to deploy you. They been sleeping on you, nigga. Folks feed them the folks. Cool. <laughs> I let them sip and resist. Made my way in the game. Now they cease to exist. Mumble rap, no flow what they popping them with the mama 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 man i'm good at that shit nigga all right smoky og all right that was nice now, now, i'm not now, mad at him i'm not mad now, at him. uh-uh but, but now check this out so on our title it says freestyle music right and what's happening we get a lot of now we smoky just so you know man we from old school man we we all we, we hip-hop was our thing but the music that we've been doing for the last 30 years is a music called freestyle music. And what it is, it was a, a, a basically a Latin based, you know, young urban where, where hip hop was more black urban, freestyle was more Latin urban. We all lived in the same neighborhood, but we were doing something a little bit different. And it was called freestyle music. And it came, originated in the eighties. As a matter of fact, it was a toss up between hip hop, the old school hip hop, the Sugar Hill, Rob Bass, those kind of acts. And then you have the freestyle, which yeah, the Lisa Lisa, the Stevie B, you know, acts like that. So a lot of times people get them confused, though freestyle in hip hop has a whole totally different meaning. It's not that one should use and one shouldn't. That freestyle has been the name that has been uh, applied to this music for many years, you know? And what we're trying not to do that. now. Huh? Not only that, we put um, the freestyle, Latin freestyle and the old school hip hop perform together all the time. Oh yeah, we do. Yeah, we're always have doing. The same fans. Yeah, we do. And then, you know, whether we go to L.A., so we do shows with like a lot of the L.A. acts, like the Tone Low. We do stuff with Snoop Dogg. Um, so we do a lot of that stuff. Dougie you know? Fresh. Dougie, all the Bob old. Bass. Yeah, all those all those old. So what we're trying to do now is let people know people that there's a huge freestyle music community out there. Huge. But what happens is people who are not a part of that community, but were familiar with freestyle music, have no idea that it's still in existence, that it's still not only existing, it's pretty large. Thriving. It's still thriving. It's just, it's so underground at this point, you know? So, but you know, you keep doing, I don't know where you're, where you playing as far as with your, with the music. If that's you, man, that was dope. Keep up the great work. And we can never give you any advice. Maybe you give us some advice. You know, feel free to ask. Anyway. That's, so, that, I, I kind of thought that was going to happen when, when it said freestyle. People were going to assume. Yeah, I knew that, but, but I thought that was a good, I, I, but I thought that was a good idea. Yeah, because, yeah. Okay, all right. Yay! Oh, gotta, Says one. <laughs> Hold up. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. I understand here yeah, because I'm only 25 years old. You feel me? So I'm in the old school music, whatever. You feel me? So I understand what you're talking about. You feel me? So when I, and I'm an artist myself. Like, I mean, I'm not going to call myself an artist yet, but I like to do what I do with my rhyming. You feel me? And what you, like, I see what you're talking about too. And on top of that, soon I'm going to be doing freestyle. I'm a, um, I'm going to be doing 
the freestyle on Funk Flex. On Funk Flex, did he do the, because he do the Brooklyn freestyle and all that. So, yeah, I'll be on that too. So, yeah. Bro. All right, yeah, that's what's up, man. 25 years old, man. Hey, man, you, what? <laughs> You know, you got, you got, you know, you got, you know, what you have in your, as your benefit is time. You still got a lot of time. And right now, because of the way technology is, and we have things like stereo, we have, you know, Instagram and so on. Like the world is yours. You know, all but, this you know, gonna take. Huh? You know, an artist, an artist is someone that creates. It's not someone that has product. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, I, I want to correct that, that also. Creates. Yeah, yeah, you're an artist, bro. You're an artist, there's no, you, you know, You'll be on the artist. I'll tell you why. Why you'll you'll be on the artist? Because right now you're not getting paid to do it, and you're still doing exactly. it. That's an artist. Now, That's once you artist. get start getting paid, and it becomes a job, it's very easy for that art to start to dissipate. I've seen that throughout my career. I've seen artists who this is all they ever wanted to do, and now they have it, and now all they do is huff and puff every time they have to go to work, and they get paid for it. So you gotta just you know keep doing you, and just stay you know stay focused, um, and um, and just but put out content. That's the key. The key right now is the way you let us hear that. Put you come on. You got YouTube. You got you got you got all the, all this media. Put out a obnoxious amount of content out there. Don't don't let people tell you yo you're gonna overdo it or you're gonna. There's too much. You're gonna overexpose. There's no such thing. That that doesn't exist. Never too anymore. much. It's yeah. never too much. So, so sit because down. You can put you... out. You can just keep putting stuff out and say, "Man, nothing's hitting. Nothing's hitting." And you get to that fortieth song, and that's the one that hits. But if you never did those other thirty-nine, you would have never known. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, and and forget about the numbers. Forget about you know you know how many people like this shit. Don't. Don't even, you know, keep putting, if you can put out a joint every single day, I say mm -hmm. do it. You know, Absolutely. at the end of the, you know, you know, if you, I know you follow Russ. Now Russ, that he's on that, that's his, that's his mindset. His mindset is to put out more product than anyone else. He's spitting out like tracks every single day. Well, you and, know, that's and, what Fiddy did. That's what Fiddy did. He put out how many, how much content? Yeah. Before yeah. he hit. Yeah. See, you, because, you and I knew him from way back, so we knew. He yeah. was grinding for how long before yep. something hit? And he didn't have, you know, YouTube and all the social media. Exactly. You know, this is our distribution. We have the ability now to distribute. The only thing holding us back these days is us, is ourselves. There's no more, oh man, the man got the key, the gatekeeper. We gotta get past the secretary. Oh man, homeboy won't give me a shot. Nobody will give me a break. That doesn't exist anymore. I remember those days. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure you do. I remember those yeah, things. I remember them too. Uh -huh. I, I wrote a book. I wrote a book about them. I know. <laughs> right? right? Yeah, yeah. Think no, about it. True. If I did an updated version of Yes, Yes, Y'all. If I did a, uh, by the way, Yes, Yes, Y'all is uh, a three book release that I put out uh, last month. It got released. You guys can find it on Amazon. Uh, it talks about the old school hip hop and how it transcended into freestyle I'm not trying to plug my own stuff but it is an interesting read and it's 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 interesting because it's it pretty much plays it sums up this topic here as far as what you want to so you want to kind of get but, an idea but it, also, but it also tells the story of how you had to like you had to get through the gatekeeper like you said you couldn't just yeah. put out your own stuff and, and your own content because it cost the cost of recording and pressing records back then was yeah. enormous. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. we were just from the project. And the ladies we didn't have that kind of money. From the, yeah, yeah but we didn't have that kind of money. We were kids from the projects. So what were we gonna do? Yep, yep, exactly. Exactly. But you know, you, and, know? you know, think about it. If we took the character from Yash Yash Y'all and we updated him to now, he wouldn't have the same problems. Absolutely not. Because of the distribution mediums that we have now. Right. You know, I mean, I tell this to man. Listen, I'm constantly getting calls. People always asking me, "Yo, you know, I see what you do. Say anything you can help me." Listen, the only thing I can do is advise at this point, because the right. key is in everyone's hands. Everyone has their own key, but what people don't want to do is they don't want to do the work. See, the work right. is at this point is ridiculous. The work is because everyone has that ability now.
you know, before... I, I don't think it's that people. I don't. I don't think it's that people <laughs> don't want as much as people don't want to do the work. I think a lot of it has to do with people saying, "Are people? Is anybody going to think I'm good enough?" I'm kind of nervous and scared to put this out. Right. You know, because right. back right. in the day, a record company would tell you you're good enough, and then they put out the record. Right now, you don't know. Right. You know, right. you're doing it yourself. Another <clears throat> method. Well, I mean, what happens is people putting out the records and they're, they're checking the likes. And they're checking, Latif. and that, you know, that's, huh? Latif, another message. Oh, okay. Let me check it. Hold on one second. Yeah, like, um, like this dude, uh, this artist, um, NBA Young Boy, Young Boy, oh, something like that. Yeah. I'm not too sure, but I'm not yeah. a big fan of him. I know but NBA. He, it been, it has been told that he be laying out tracks, I mean, albums after album, because he got like six or seven albums in one year or something like that you feel me like he works hard but you feel me even though i'm not a big fan of him but yeah like him for example yeah yeah nba uh never broke again yeah i booked him i'm a booking agent so i booked him i did a, a big concert in um i think it was in miami and i had him on yeah, and the dude charges a lot of money. I think at that point, this was a few years back. At that point, he was like 100 Gs. Two years um, ago. Yeah, I'm not a fan either. I'm not a fan. I'm not like, like I said, you know. There's some, I think he's some, all right. I, I think he's all right. I think he's all right. No, I mean, no, he's, he's not good. my he's, favorite, but. Yeah, he's just, yeah, I'm just, yeah, it's not, just not. I, I like know, what no, he's doing. I like you know, how this, he's putting out that content. And you know you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like what he's doing. But Smokey, that's the, that, but that's the key. That's the key right there, what you just said. And you know, and whether you like him or not, the the the, the format uh that he's using by putting out content consistently and just putting spitting shit out, just spitting it out. You know, this is the beauty of it. See, back in the days when you had a regular traditional state uh a, a record deal, okay, they didn't want you to spit stuff out like that. You know, they would you know, they will sign you to a single, hopefully you got some more in the works, they'll put you in the studio, but everything costs. And back in those days, they used to charge you for this thing called cross collateralization, which means that they will release one record, right? And they would charge you so much for that record that by the, when you go to release your second record, not only do you have to pay for that second record, you also have to pay what you owe uh, for the first record. Excuse the phone, guys. Yeah. We got to turn off those business phones. <laughs> Yeah. So, but anyway, uh, yeah. So, but 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 you know what? What we're trying to get to is if it's something that you're serious. See, the whole thing is, in order for you to put out that kind of amount, that amount of of of, of music, is that passion has to be like over your head. I mean, it has to be beyond. And most of us can say, "Oh man, you know, I'm passionate. I, I, that's all I ever want to do. I'll do anything for it." And you know what happens? We really don't. We really don't do what it takes to get what we want. But I'm gonna tell you now, being in the industry myself for 30 years, if I was, if I had to advise my own kids and say, hey, you wanna try to, you wanna blow up, you wanna try, this is what you need to do. And I first start with content, with music. If you don't have a way of producing on your own, and that's another key also, um, the minute you have to rely on other people, that's when you're going to get slowed down because a lot of times people are not going to have that same drive that you have. So you need to figure out how you can do things totally self-sufficient, even if it's just a really, really good sounding demo. So if that means that you're going to grab some programs and pop them on your on your computer where it's Fruity Loops or something and you're going to learn how to create those beats and then from those beats record them and then put them on, on, on the internet then that's that would be my advice rather than going and trying to find this dope producer that's not going to have the time for you either that or he's going to want to get paid and if you don't have the money to keep this dude you know working for you you're going to lose so the key is right now at this point you know the best advice is learn do what you got to do you got to get some instrumentals you got to buy beats or you just got buy beats and pay for them buy them and just have people spitting you out beats on a constant and just sit there and put out product and put it out that's how people it's not about looking at the names don't, don't look for the numbers don't look at the likes don't look at the files just just put the stuff and just keep focusing 
on your craft and putting your shit out there. And it's just eventually it's going to find you. You can't look for it, though. It has, you have to let it find you. You know, but the, the world is yours, bro. I'll tell you that. Hold on one second. Let me see who's this. Well, how I okay. look at it, I feel like young, um, NBA young boy, I feel like rappers like him. I feel like they, they they talk about the same stuff in every song. It, it's not the fact that how many you do. It's just like the, way I, the way I see it, you got to be telling different stories all the time. But him, he always bringing up the same thing because I'll be listening to his verse sometimes. It, it's like the same thing that, you know, I heard like other three songs of him and all that. Like, I really don't like it. But what I'm saying is like, Lyrical, like lyric, lyrical people, like uh, freaking this upcoming rappers like NF, uh, Hobson, Dax, Tom McDonald. This is upcoming rappers, you feel me? Or some of them been in the game for that long, but they haven't been mentioned. But they gotta be making a lot of songs, you feel me? Yeah, I hear you, man. You know I what it you, is? But- you know what it is? You're thinking like an artist. And NBA Young Boy is thinking about a business. He's thinking like a businessman. He just wants to make money. If you're if if you're just doing the same thing over and over and over, you're not really an artist. Yeah, you find out what you, what he did is he found out what works. A formula. And then, ran, and then he ran with it. You know, it's like this: if you if you found a machine that every time you put a dollar into that machine, it gave you back two. You know what you're gonna do? You gonna stand in front of that machine all day long, feeding it dollar bills, because you found something that works and it's generating. And if somebody says, "Yo, why don't you try this other machine?" You'll be hell no. This machine is fine, <laughs> you know. So yeah, they're yeah. not gonna, they're not gonna they're not gonna change. And you gotta not worry about them. What yeah, you but you know that's a beautiful thing, thing though. That's a beautiful thing to think like an artist and want to create and want to create different things. Right, oh, but, you the have those different different feelings but the whole thing is this: but the whole thing is this: Are you who are you an artist for? You an artist for yourself? If that's cool, if that's okay, then that's cool. Spit out the music you like, sit in your room and, and throw that shit up on the computer and listen to it and enjoy it. But if you're trying to blow up, if you're trying to go out there and you're trying to get paid and you're trying to sell records and you're trying to you know get some concerts, then you gotta kind of you gotta go after what other people are looking for. You gotta find that perfect medium. There's nothing wrong. With doing music that only you like, absolutely not. But most of us as artists, that's not what we're trying to do. We're not trying to do that. We want other people to enjoy stuff. People try to be famous, man. With fame comes money. Everybody's trying to be famous, and the way you become famous is you got you got to you got to kind of you got to crank it out. You got to get that shit out there. Yeah, yo, to word. Um... I was watching this interview that that this artist named Blueface. I know y'all heard of Blueface before, right? Mm-hmm. This guy that who interviewed him, right? Asked him, "Did you what you like about hip hop? Oh, oh, why did you start rapping?" He said his question, his answer was, "I don't even like rapping at all. I really don't. You feel me?" Mm-hmm. I was like, "Wow." And that and that was the same thing with uh, what's his name Waka Waka Flocka. He said the same thing. If you go watch the video, the song called "I'm a Wild Boy" with MGK, he's like it's like a little clip that he did of of what he said. He said he asked MGK, "Are you a rapper?" He said, "Hell yeah." He and then MGK asked him, "Are you a rapper?" He said, "Hell fucking no, I'm trash." Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, it, at this as, at this time of day, man, like we don't know how the fans will react to that. Like, you might have some fans that might take that shit personal, and they might he might they might disconnect from him. Who knows? Or they might say some might look at it as like that rebellion shit, and that might attract them to it. There's no there's no telling what what that what that might work. That shit might be a, a well, front. Well, you know, you brought up Russ earlier. Right. And to me, Russ is a, he's really a true artist because his stuff is not all the same. Right. You know, he actually sounds like he just, he's creating something new every time, every yeah. time, every time. Yeah. But he's not, he's not sticking to the formula. 
Yeah, yeah, but Russ also has the ability to sit in a studio and produce everything himself. So he okay. doesn't have the constraints of being dependent on other people. He can write, he can play, he can record, he can he can do it all. And and he proved that and then he puts on that obnoxious amount of work that it takes to do what he has to do. You know, and that's and that's that's just the bottom line, you know? You know, and listen, what what makes some people, you know, blow up and other people not it's like, you know, it's it's a combination of hard work and luck. But you know, if you want to learn how to be a producer, you can always intern in a studio. You can always yeah, or, reach out to a studio and intern. Or or try to find a way of, of getting that equipment. Equipment is so cheap these days. That's true. You, you know? go on YouTube and learn how to use it. Yeah. Yeah. So, but um, I think we did an hour in already. So. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna cut, yeah, we're going we're gonna to shut down. And appreciate everybody listening in. Be cool. And um, see you guys. Talk to you next time. Peace out. Bye.